Hey guys, welcome back to the Carnivore Channel. My name is Matthew, really good to have you here. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're returning, great to have you with us for the first time. Today, today marks my day 40. Day 40 on the carnivore diet. Day 40 of starting my whole life over again. Day 40, really after 30 days, you've really reached a new lifestyle, right? Well, the gains that I've been getting on this has been really remarkable. The amount of exercises I can do has just gone up to a whole nother feat. Now, I know most people on the carnivore diet, y'all are in this to be able to lose lots of weight. And man, I, I have so much respect for y'all. And if I wasn't already down to a decent weight, because I'm six foot three, I was 219 when I started this off. Today I was 213. Six pounds in 40 days. And I'm not trying to lose the weight. All I'm trying to do is gain muscle bulk. So there you go. All right. You kind of get where I'm going with with this. And I, not only muscle bulk, but I'm trying to get to my ideal health. Okay. I think on this carnivore diet, you can get your ideal health much, yes. Yeah, I, I think the plant-based diet is awesome, but anyway, I don't want to get off on, on that trip. Okay, so hey, some uh, some tricks, or should I say some hacks that I like to use in the morning, because my brain's going really, really fast, okay? And I can't calm down, I can't settle, I get impatient. So what's one gonna do? Well, you're gonna find some way to be able to calm your brain. And through a great friend of mine, I did find that drinking coffee and heavy whipping cream not only fills you up, but it makes your brain feel so good. You know, you take a look at this, and this is the heavy whipping cream that I've been using. Boom, only like two ingredients in this mug. And um, yeah, a lot of fat though, like 3.5 grams per every tablespoon. Remember, carnivore diet, you don't care about saturated fats. You don't care about those fat grams because you're not eating those carbs. Okay, so you can eat those fat grams and you're gonna lose weight. It's just amazing stuff. And you're gonna build muscle bulk. And you're gonna get cut. I have got such a long journey to go. I think it's important for me to come on here and kind of bear myself, <laughs> pretty much. Some of you might say, the guy's not in bad shape. Some of you are gonna say, that guy's fat. Some of you are gonna say, why is he gonna expose himself because he might fail. My friends, all of you are right. Because it all has to do with the lens that we're looking through. But what's most important is the lens of truth. And the lens of truth says, it is what it is and it will be what it will be. And when I commit myself, I will reap the rewards that I get, whatever those are phenomenal health if it, if it be a ripped body I don't know if that's gonna happen guys we're all feel we all fear failure we all fear embarrassment but what happens when that person breaks out and they say I don't care about failure I'm going to do what I'm going to do and I don't give a blank what you say you throw yourself out there and you're in the fight man and you see that's where I think a lot of people get derailed that's where I've gotten derailed and I'm not gonna be derailed anymore, no sir. All right, so hey, I did get a breakfast for my third, for my 40th day. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. So basically what we have here is we have our eggs, <laughs> we have our bacon. Man, it is good. I, these are three pieces of thick bacon. I didn't make 12 just simply because I'm still caught into that prison of thinking that the more bacon I eat, you know, it's hard to unlearn and relearn. It's hard to get rid of the old scripts. It just is. It just is. But I am, and I'm pushing through it. I'm feeling good. Next thing, you know what we're gonna have every day. You're gonna have that sour cream, boy. So when you drink this coffee, all right, when you drink the coffee, it's gonna calm your mind with the cream. First thing in the morning, Next thing I personally do is I do those push-ups. I punch them out. And then what do I do? Well, I'm looking for something. My body's like, ah, oh, I need something. And then I eat this butter. Then after I eat the butter, what am I doing? I'm doing the arm weights. Free weights. No, you don't have to go to the gym. The gym gives us a reason to say I don't have time. Everybody has time. You have the time. You have the time. You have priorities and your health needs to be 
close to number one. Because if you make your, your number one health, all right, you're still gonna go to your job. You're still gonna love your family. You're still gonna do those things you have to do. But that means you're gonna take your health and those things you need to do for your health. If it's like, like this morning, okay? I got up and I got pork loin. I got a big thing of pork loin and I put it in an Instapot. I put it in the Instapot with about two cups of water and I put it on 45 minutes. It's in there brewing, guys. I, I probably is already done, all right? And then I'm like, ah, uh, you know, I'm not sure how much time do I have before I go to work? And I'm like, no, 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 I got plenty of time. I'm gonna make that bacon, I'm gonna make those eggs. And that's what I did. So I haven't been able to hit my crunches yet, but what happens with crunches? Let's talk about this because people always talk about not having enough time. And the time, when I'm at work, I get 15 minute breaks. If you're on a 15 minute break, you can find some place in that office, at your house, I don't care, to be able to do some insane crunches. If you're at the early stages, you're gonna find a place where you can do some crunches you gotta have the attitude, you gotta have a million crunches to go. You can do those million crunches. You just gotta be obsessed about it. You've, you've got tons of other stuff you have to do. I get that. But man, if you don't have your health, you're cashing everything out. All right, so let's see how these eggs are. All right. By the way, my UT fan, sort of, <laughs> I am a UT fan. My wife, she's a UT fan, boy. You ask Darlene. She'll be on here. I will get her on here. Oh, yeah. And, you know, I gotta tell you, I have a lot of insecurities. I just do. We all do. But when I can tell you what my insecurities are, I mean, are they insecurities at that point? I don't know. I don't think so. All right, bacon. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh gosh. When it comes to bacon, I'm gonna tell y'all. If you can, see if you hold off from eating bacon for like three days. Then you have that stuff. It tastes so freaking good. I mean, it's my favorite. That's just me personally. Whoo, man. And <laughs> to think that this is a diet that has my blood pressure at like, I don't have my blood pressure go, but she, if you've seen other videos, you know what's going on, guys. 106 over like 50 some sometime. This is crazy. Guys, does this look like a person that's suffering? I don't think so, cause I'm not. I'm like, this stuff tastes so good. It's so good for you. Man, it's those processed foods. Processed foods, the sugar, the highly processed wheat. Oh man, I'm serious. Oh. Oh man, it tastes so good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Ugh. Whoever, whoever demonizes bacon just wants to keep bacon all for themselves. I'm just saying. You watch out for that sucker. All right, so I know in this video, I'm not clipping in and out, clipping in and clipping in now. How about a terabyte of a hard drive? And I've been too lazy. So look it up, <laughs> but I will. Because I know y'all like the flashy flashes, or at least that's what other YouTubers say. I'm kind of like me. Mm. Oh. Man, that is so good. Nah, you don't need a biscuit. You don't need a biscuit with that. You definitely don't need any jelly. I'm not averse to jelly. You know, I'd like to put some jelly actually. Well, you know, I mean, I don't know if it's part of the carnivore diet, right? Guys, thank you for being here. Don't forget the hacks, though. Those hacks have helped me push through, have helped me be able to get in the mindset. Oh, one other thing I did forget. 
So I do want to say this to you. This is very, very important. And if for anybody that stuck around, I'm so glad that you did, especially if you're trying to get in shape. When you wake up in the morning, make your coffee, put the whipping cream in there that I showed you, get your mind settled. And then when you hit the floor, do your breathing. When I say breathing, I mean deep breaths, stay on the floor. When you breathe in, take another breath. Keep breathing in like that. Make sure that you're completely calm and then start to do your push-ups. Pretty soon you'll be 70, doing 75 in a row. If you're already doing 75, obviously this advice isn't for you, all right? But you'll be doing your 100 push-ups in a row. You'll be doing 200. I mean, I assume people can do that many. I know they can. But yeah, just kind of go with that. I am your carnivore on the journey, day 40. There's another one on day 40. I don't know. And I'm 51. And I don't feel 51. Not on the inside. Not on, I don't feel 51 in my joints. I don't know what I look like on the outside to you through your lens. But I do know that um, I feel good. That's the important thing. And that's what this message is for. Wherever you're at, wherever your journey is, in 40 days, I can tell you this, in 40 days, you can change your life. I don't know what you can Excuse me, I don't know what you can do in 60 days. I haven't been there yet. I don't know where you can be in 90 days, but I do want to tell you this. Believe in yourself, take a chance. Push both heels in the ground, get them firm. Make a stand, make that chance. Look fear in the eye and hit it and go for yours. Do you, when I say do you, Stand up to the fear that's keeping you where you are and where you want to go. Guys, good talking to you. I haven't had much time to eat much breakfast. I'm going close to 10 minutes. You know how people are, short term. You know, I, I could stay on here, but I'm not going to bore y'all. Peace out. Y'all be good. And you know, I'm going to check back tomorrow now. I'm here for you. Day 41 will be tomorrow. Day 40, I'm rejoicing in day 40. I got about a million crunches to go. You know, I'm not going to hit a million today. But I'm going to work on this million. Peace.